this is what we're looking at here. Uh, so it looks like I'm gonna have to take this castle nut off, pull the whole thing off. That's what it's appearing to be. So let me pull this castle nut off real quick. Okay, so I got the keeper out, but the socket that I need to get on this is in the motorhome, I think, which is not here. So, what I'm going to do is try and tap this loose so that way, because I don't have a vise here, so when I take this whole thing off, I won't have to hit it loose. I'll hit it loose with it on here. So I'll do that, and then I'll go get my socket and continue. Alright, got my hammer here. Cool. So now I tap that out. So I'm gonna go get my socket that fits on here, and uh, we'll take this off, and that way that'll come out real easy. The hard part's done. Go find a new one, put it back in. Mm -hmm. Okay. So as it turns out, I did not have a socket for this in the motorhome but it is a 30 millimeter i looked it up i guess last time i did this i must have borrowed one from fred or somebody so this is uh from northern tool and it fits this is probably one of the best tools you can buy it's an electric impact wrench it makes all this kind of stuff way easier just like that Save you a lot of wrenching. Alrighty, so there we are. And there's our broken bolt. So I ended up having to order these from the four wheeler store. But pretty much just like you took it out, you just tap these in there. So that's about it. Put them in there, tap them through. They're not quite seated all the way. Seals pretty good. I don't exactly know how tight you're supposed to get this. It is a castle nut, but it was pretty tight coming off. This was a pretty easy job if you have to do it. Not a whole lot to it. I think the hardest part was tracking down the, uh, the studs. So, everything else is pretty easy. I really thought I could pick them up at O'Reilly's or something, but that was not the case. There you go. You change your wheel studs on a four-wheeler. Pretty simple if you can find the things.